England selectors chose Australian-trained fast bowler Martin McCaig to join Captain Mike Atherton's squad for the 94-95 Ashes series. Bad delivery. Slater whips it away. It's going towards the boundary. There's the fine wing. He knocks it on. It's four more, is it? Yes, and that's not good enough. Philip Tuffmore concedes three runs. It's well bowled, well played. That's through again. That'll be four more. The run's flowing here at the Gabba. The attacking field, Taylor and Slater finding the gaps. And that's a rather pleasant way to bring up the 500 in Test cricket. Martin McCaig is... Uh, got to get his compass sorted out. In the first test, McCaig conceded 80 runs in 14 overs before leaving the field with an upset stomach, which was a coincidence, because most of his efforts had made England's fans sick. This is McCaig again. He's got that one down fine, and uh, that may well go to for four as well. Yes, into the fence too. Yes, McCaig. Very unhappy and uh, not surprising. Not surprising me either. That one uh, was again a bad delivery. Just helped on its way down the fine leg. What do I do now? And when McCaig picked up the bat, their stomach ache did not improve. Oh, that goes the house, the Yorker. Queen Bowl, neck and crop, Martin McCaig. So what a fascinating day's play here at the Gabba at six for 133. Still quite a bit of time to go. But uh, the Australians are moving fairly swiftly now. Shane Warne, 6 for 69 from 46 overs. Ah! Oh, and there's another England one. losing the Test match by 184 very, runs. Very short time at the crease for Martin McCaig. A very, very good flipper from Shane Warne. That went zip. And Martin McCaig also went zip.